Good morning. Welcome to the AM Show with Amy Bennett. I hope you are doing really well. Um, it's a little chilly in the Carolinas today. Um, I do not know why I get a notification on my phone that I am live. Like, I know I'm live. I'm doing it. So thanks, Facebook. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's a little chilly out today. Um, I hope this goes well. The dogs are out here. Scott has already gone to work, so I'm by myself with these dogs. We could hear a lot of barking. I don't know. Um, so I got my hair curled, but I'm seeing now that it's already mostly gone because it's awfully humid here as well because it rained last night. Here goes Tucker. Tucker. Anyway. All right. Well, today is a fun day. Yay Tuesday. I got my Yay Tuesday shirt on. That's from Emily Freeman's um, Simply Tuesday book. And I love Tuesdays because it's Feathers Day. New podcast episode out today. And y'all... We, there's only two episodes of this season left, today and next week. I can't believe it. Um, 16 episodes in one season, and next week is the last one, and I am so excited. Literally. I mean, I love all my episodes, but I just, like, really, really am so excited about this episode. And next week, I just loved um, the conversation I had with them and loved the women that I got to talk to. So, today is... Um, an episode with Kristen Welch. She is the, um, yay, Marie made it live. Hey, Michelle and Marie, you guys are live. Um, so today is with Kristen Welch. She is, um, I've been following her for like 10 years. She is a um, blogger. She's a mom. She's a blogger. She um, is now the founder, owner, I don't know what you call it, CEO. I don't know if she's CEO of um, Mercy House Kenya. And Mercy Health Kenya runs transition homes in Kenya for young mothers. Um, a lot of times that come out of the slums um, and can't, you know, sometimes are ostracized from their family for being pregnant. Uh, um, and so they help um, deliver healthy babies, um, get the women work, um, and they're doing all sort of things. Other than that, um, they have the thing called Fair Trade Friday, um, and that's where I get, um, they have. Um, jewelry handbags and stuff made from the women to give them jobs and then they're selling it um, I do fair trade Friday they have like a monthly earring box which is super fun some of the earrings that you see me wear um, in the mornings are from there um, and from all over the world and it's really fun to wear them and remember what country they came from and just I don't know just remember to pray for those women and um, so I would highly recommend you take um, check out fair trade Friday because they also have they don't have earrings they even have like bracelet of the month and like different different um you know boxes for the month and i i just love it um so anyway um one of the things that kristen talked about and so she has a new book out um and it's all about um it's a lot about parenting and how we can raise um children that change the world and of course with three kids um that's obviously something that is super um um interesting i don't know i can't even think of the word um for me, uh, how do I raise kids that actually change the world and not dive into this American culture, self-centered um, culture. And so we, I think we had a good conversation. Um, it's an excellent book. It's an excellent, excellent book. And if you have not read her story, she actually has um, her original, I think it's called Rhinestone Jesus, is her like memoir about how um, her life kind of changed and they started Mercy House Kenya. So if you haven't read that one, I would highly recommend that one too. But anyway. Um, all that to say, she talked about the difference between sharing from our lives and surrendering our entire lives. So she's not just calling people to share, you know, out of the abundance of our life, because obviously in America we have an abundance and what do we do with that? And why would God put us in a country of abundance and yet leave people with, I mean, so little, and it's not even their choice where they were born. And she says for a long time, she just called people to share. Um, what they had and it's not about that she said God does not call us to share he has called us to surrender it's all about surrendering our entire lives um, for the gospel and um, using everything that we have <clears throat> um, for its good and I was in um, and it kind of ties into what I want to talk about today and it, I was reminded of first um, Corinthians 3 and it's talking about living a surrendered life and the fact that it matters it matters what kind of life that we live even today. Um, so I'm in 1 Corinthians 3. Um, uh, let's start with 10. And by the way, Marie asked me yesterday what kind of Bible I have. It's NIV. It's a life application Bible. I love it because there's lots of um, 
You see the bottom? There's lots of notes like within the Bible, so it helps you kind of study as you're reading. It's not a great Bible. I do carry it to church, but it's really heavy. Um, so if you're looking for a thin Bible, this is not a good one. Um, I keep saying I'm going to get a thin one, but then I just want to carry mine so I can make notes. Um, anyway, so let me read this. 1 Corinthians 3. By the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as an expert builder, and someone else is building on it. But each one should be careful how he builds. For no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. If any man builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or straw, his work will be shown for what it is, because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each man's work. If what he has built survives, he will receive his reward. If it is burned up, he will suffer loss. He himself will be saved, but only as one escaping through the flames. And this is speaking to how we live, even as Christians, that our work will be shown for what it is. And that is sobering to me. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's not a fear thing. Um, but it says that we can live in such a way that we just barely make it into heaven, y'all. I mean, that's really what it's saying. I mean, it says he himself will be saved, but only as one escaping through the flames. That's not the kind of life I want to look back and say that I have. I want um, to, I want to live a life that is rewarded and that God sees as pleasing um, and that it makes a difference. Don't we all, I mean, we just want to make a difference, don't we? We want our, our life to mean something um, in an eternal way. And this just reminds me um, to do that today, like it matters today. Um, and it says that we can build using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or straw. And this reminds me, and this is why I love studying the Old Testament and the New Testament, because they speak to one another, confirm one another. And it reminded me of Proverbs 3. I didn't know that in my head. I remembered where it was, and I had to look back to where I could find it. I remember the words, but not where the words were. I don't know if you guys are like that. You kind of remember verses. I have to Google all the time. Like, where is that verse? I know it says something about that. Um, but Proverbs 3, um, 13 through 18, blessed is the man who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding for she is more profitable than silver and yields better, better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. And so it's talking about, and this is, and I'm going to like scoop back. Um, it's talking about wisdom. Um, and the beginning of the book, um, kind of speaks to this it says my son do not forget my teaching but keep my commands in your heart for they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity let love and faithfulness never leave you bind them around your neck write them on the tablet of your heart then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man okay so this is telling me that the way that we build with gold silver and costly stones instead of you know wood hay and straw is through God's Word Oh, I just lost some papers. It's okay. Um, is through God's word, is living through God's word, is seeking out wisdom. God's wisdom through his word is the gold and the silver and the costly stones. And it's telling, and it's telling us in the book of Proverbs, don't forget it. Keep my commands. Live according to my commands. Um, and then you will win favor in the sight of God. So that even makes me think like eternally. That will win favor with God. Um, not that we don't already have the favor of God. Well, we are... We are saved. We don't need to win our salvation. Christ has done it all. Um, he has made us new. I am not adding anything to what Christ um, has done for us um, as far as that is concerned. But we can live in such a way um, that it makes an eternal difference. Um, and <clears throat> and the thing, it gives you a clue. And, and you can say, well, you know, how do I live? That's, you know... That's a lot, of, a lot to read, God's commands. And let me just boil it down for you. Just remind us what it is. All of God's scripture is about loving God and loving others. That's it. I mean, that God says that's the, two, the most important two commands. Love God and love others. Love God and love others. And that is the gold. That's the gold that we can build our lives with. Is that we, and it says, let love and faithfulness never leave you. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. You have to be faithful to God, faithful to others and let love um, pour out of you. That is the gold, that's the gold life, 24 karat gold. I have to pull out Bruno Mars here. <laughs> um, you can tell I have teenagers. Anyway, so our life today is all about loving God and love others. How can you love God more, put the distractions away, focus our eyes on Jesus, um, 
and then let his love flow through us to other people. Um, and that's where we get into um, how, you know, what does that look like according to God? That looks like loving our enemies. That looks like praying for enemies. That looks like turning another cheek. Um, that looks like walking an extra mile when they ask you, when they ask you to walk one mile. Um, it is all about serving people and um, putting ourselves um, to the side and lifting up others above ourselves. And so that is what we're called to today. And it's not just for today. It does make an eternal difference. Um, and you will be rewarded. And if, listen, if God's given out rewards, I'm there. I'm there for it. That's what I've always said. I just, if God's given out rewards and I'm there and you know, if we lay our crowns at Jesus's feet, I want as many as I can get. So I want to live in such a way today that it matters eternally. Um, and so that's what I want to encourage you guys today. It matters. Your day matters today. This simple Tuesday simply Tuesday your simple Tuesday matters um, and what we how we choose to live how we choose to love God and how we choose to love people um, and so that's what I just want to encourage you guys with today is just to refocus um, and remember remember that it matters remember that it matters um, okay so that got me fired up this morning so I hope it did to you I think I said hello to um, Michelle and Marie good morning and Annette was able to join so good morning Annette look can you guys see my hair just flopping as I'm talking? It's, it's, I, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, not that that matters, but, <laughs> um, all right guys. Um, anyway, I think that was it for today. Go watch, not watch, go listen, go download the episode for today. Um, you are going to be, um, really encouraged. Kristen is just, every time I talk, I've seen Kristen, um, speak live. She actually came to my town one time, um, with Maureen, that Maureen that runs the, um, Kenya home and the operations, um, there. And, um, they are just, they're legit. They're legit. That's all I can say. They're legit. And you, um, you're just gonna be so encouraged by them. I, um, I love them to pieces and they, she inspires me, but she challenges me too. So it's not, um, I am challenged every time I hear her speak. Um, and anyway, she's doing good work and I hope you listen to her. So, all right guys, um, your hair looks fine. Your hair is beautiful. You know, thanks guys. I was not really fishing for comments. I was actually frustrated. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, Michelle says, have a great day. Well, have a great day, Michelle. I hope you do. Um, I guess that's it guys. Uh, we will um, talk again tomorrow morning. Bye.